Hi guys, Jeffrey Dimitrovich here, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about car washes. Now, first of all, there's a couple of different types of car washes out there. Just talking about the modern car washes. First of all, there's the coin-op, and secondly, there's the drive-through. So I just want to talk about some of the problems that are associated with that. Um, the coin-op car wash. You know, first of all, the coin-op car wash used to take loonies, not anymore, um, if you're familiar. I mean, it takes toonies now. And you got to be really quick with it. If you're anything like me, you don't want to put any more than one toonie in at a time. So you're putting one toonie in and you're in a mad rush to get around that vehicle in time to make sure that, you know, you get the job done before that, that runs out. And of course, you know when it runs out, right? It runs out when you're the furthest away from where you're going to plug the next toonie in. So anyways, at the very best, folks, it works out to, to uh, be very expensive and you have to do all that hard work yourself. And the problem is, is that it really doesn't do a very good job. When you're done, I mean, if your car comes out acceptable, you're very lucky. So let's talk about the drive-through car wash now, too. Now, here's an invention by modern car wash facilities, to, because we are very, very lazy when it comes to cleaning our vehicles. So, you know, the idea is you drive in, you punch a code into a, a thing, and then you can drive out. You know, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, getting out of your vehicle. It's really quite easy. So that's an option. Um, you know, the convenience of it is great, but they have to use the harshest chemicals that you can get nowadays to get the job done uh, because these are touchless car washes and they do, really do use harsh chemicals to do that. So I just want to offer a solution folks and I will say this, if you want a good job done, do it yourself. Now even for older folks, I just want to let you know, you know what, you don't have to do it, work hard to do this. I'm going to give you an idea of how to get your cars clean. You'll feel great about yourself when you're done. It's not difficult to do and boy, the quality of the car wash is going to come out much better. But you're going to need a couple of tools. So, uh, first of all, you're going to need about a five gallon pail. What I'm going to suggest is fill the five gallon pail about halfway with water. Next, what you're going to need is a brush. Now, here's a $20 purchase I made about 10 years ago or 15 years ago. What a great product. It's a soft bristle brush and it works really great for car wash. So, next, what you're going to need is preferably an organic based product. Formula 101. Put one, two, three capfuls in there. If it's a very good organic based surfactant as Formula 101 is, you don't need much product at all. So basically one or two, three capfuls in there and then the rest is water. Now, there's the idea is this. When you go over your vehicle, you take your brush and you dip it into your solution and you brush it on. You can brush on a section at a time don't let it dry on there, folks. What you want to do is use it a section at a time, hosing it off as you go. There's two ways you can rinse. The harder way, but the more effective way, is if you have something like this. This is another brush, but it attaches to your garden hose, and you can really do a good job rinsing like this. You know what? If you're using Formula 101, you're not going to need this, okay? This is a handy tool for soaps and phosphates, but again, Formula 101 doesn't have the soaps or phosphates. So, what I use is another really good purchase I've made. This little is called a reducer and it's a little plastic piece that goes onto the bottom of the hose. Basically what it does is it gives you a lot more pressure uh, without having to get a pressure washer and honestly this saved me 500 bucks folks because I was going to go out and buy a pressure washer and when I started using this I was thinking my goodness what a great in little invention. So you just put it onto the end of the hose. What you do is you just do a section at a time and hose it off as you go but boy does it come out clean. The great thing about using a surfactant to clean is that it'll sheet the water off in a nice big sheet so you're never left with any spots or marks. It really works well. And you know, for people who are a little older, you know, just do a section at a time. It's so easy and I'll tell you, you will feel so good when you're done. Um, you don't have to rinse a lot with it. You do have to rinse it off, but boy does it shine when you're done because there's no soaps or phosphates in Formula 101. Um, it, it works really, really well. So anyways, that's a little bit about car washes. Thanks for listening and happy cleaning.